Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the first tutorial in the series of tutorials on Python, the programming language. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the language and we're going to see how we can download and install Python on Windows and set up the Python environment to start programming. So I'm sure before you guys learn how to program in Python, you want to know why Python is as popular as it is. And you're probably looking for reasons to learn the language. So we're going to discuss some of the most important features of the language, right? The first one is that Python is a beginner's language and it is really fun to work with, right? So if you haven't experimented with any programming language before, and if you know, programming has always interested you, but you haven't, you know, checked out any language like C or PHP or Java or C++ or, you know, any other language, then, you know, you should start with Python because uh, you'll pick it up really quickly. And as I said, it's fun to work with. So you're going to have a great time learning the language and I can guarantee you that. And the second important feature of Python is that it is interactive. So whereas in other languages, you have to build programs to test code in Python, you can, you know, simply fire commands to the Python uh, interpreter at the command prompt and your code will be processed at runtime itself. And uh, Python is also object oriented. So you can easily wrap functionality around objects and create complicated apps really conveniently. And uh, Python is also portable. So, you know, you can run it on numerous platforms. You can run it on Windows, on Linux, on Unix or Mac. You know, you can do, you know, the same things that you do on Windows. You can do the exact same things on, you know, all the other platforms. So now let's check out how we can download and install the Python interpreter. So I want you guys to, you know, access your web browser and I'm using Google Chrome and, uh, you know, just make a search for Python download. Right. That's what I want you to guys to search for and uh, just follow the first link that appears on the screen and you'll be directed to the Python download page. And on this page, you'll see, you know, a lot of files for a lot of different platforms. So if you are a Windows user, then you can, you know, download the Windows version. If you are a Mac user, then you can download the Mac user, depending on your system architecture. Of course, you know, if you've got a 64 bit platform, then you'll have to download the appropriate setup. And, um, you know, you can see that we have Python 3.3 setups and we also have the Python 2.7 uh, dot six set of files and you know we do not want to download these because you know obviously uh, python 3.3.3 is the latest version of the programming language and this is what we'll be learning in this course and uh, the python 3.x uh, is very different from python 2.x series and um, you know it's it's syntactically different and you know there are like some logical differences in the languages too and the reason why there is still support for Python 2.x series is that there are a lot of guys who still have their uh, websites running on Python 2.x and uh, you know, there are a lot of s software applications that, are, that have been built in 2.x series and you know, you can't just abandon those guys, right? So that's why, you know, the Python 2.x setups are also still available. And uh, if you want, you can download these two and, you know, maybe have a reference book uh, and see what are the differences between the two languages. But I don't think that's, you know, a good idea because, you know, this is the way of the future. So definitely it's worth uh, learning the Python 3.3 um, language and not the Python 2.7 language, right? So um, just, you know, select the file that's most appropriate for you and uh, you know when you click on it the download starts automatically and I'm not going to download it because I already have the set of file so I'll cancel the download and uh, you know the set of file looks like this I saved it on my desktop and uh, you know you need to double click on it and uh, then give it the permission to run and uh, then you have to click on next for this option and if you want to just install for yourself and not other users then you know you can select this radio button but then you know i'm just going to install it for all users and then it asks you where you want to you know save all the files so i want to save in my computer c directory so you know i won't make any changes here either and uh, this is a place where i want you guys to make one change and i would suggest this to you i would strongly recommend if you add the python dot exe path to your uh, environment variable path right so the reason for this we'll see in the next tutorial and uh, you know you just just do this okay because uh, if you don't do this then you would have to explicitly copy the path of the python interpreter and paste it in the path environment variable and you know that's actually a lot of work so you don't want to do that so you know just uh, click on this and then click on next 
and uh, this might take some time like a couple of minutes so once the installation finishes uh, you just have to click on the finish button and one more thing that I'm going to suggest you guys to do is that you can make a copy of the Python GUI application or the Python command line on your desktop or your taskbar, right? Because we're going to access uh, those applications uh, quite a lot in this course. So it makes sense to have, uh, you know, their links on the desktop so that we can access them, uh, you know, frequently and conveniently. So I'm going to go to start and then type in Python IDLE and uh, this is what it is and I'm going to right click on it and then just click on pin to taskbar so that I have this icon right here right so uh, thank you for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to start uh, programming in Python and uh, we're going to check out lots of features of the language in this course and uh, it's going to be a comprehensive course but I'll try to make it as entertaining as possible for you guys so that we all just have fun learning the language together right so see you in the next one and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and take care